by Zeus here, and this is one of your daily collective readings, okay? Like and subscribe if you get anything out of this. Thank you to those of you who do like, subscribe, and comment. It is greatly loved and appreciated. I really, really do truly love it, okay? <laughs> so thank you. And plus, you know, um, some some people have been sending me, like, confirmation. I love that, okay? Love when what I'm talking about is helping somebody, okay? Because that's the point. <laughs> So we're going to do angel messages, okay? God, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, all beings of light only. You're welcome into this reading. Please give the Piscean Seer Collective the best and most accurate information for them at this time. Okay, so there's like a little list, okay? So yesterday I was functioning it up, okay? I moved the couch. And I found a little paper that had like my notes, <laughs> that had some notes on it, okay? But there were just two numbers that I took from that paper. So I'm gonna tell you those. But first I'm gonna pull some angel cards and then I got a few numbers, okay? Um, I won on a scratcher, so I put, I only, I, I got four words on a crossword, okay? So of course Spirit was like, add that to the, to the list. And then, um, yeah. It's not gonna be, I was gonna say, it's not gonna be that long, but I, honestly, I never really know. I really, truly don't. <laughs> I really, truly don't ever know how long the spirit's gonna decide to make the reading, okay? And that's fine, okay? This is what I'm here for, to sit here and say whatever the fuck <laughs> they want me to say. Hold up, let me get it. What's this, what's in this one? Okay, so. But it looks like a really good reading, you know. Of course, it's going to be really positive because the angel part. It's a little bit of BS up in there, too. It says, enter higher planetary service via blazing light. I have to remember to talk loud, okay? My mic will be here today, <laughs> but it's not here, okay? I'm actually recording late because I was trying to give it a chance to get here, but then I was like, by the time it gets here, you know, then I still got to charge them because they're just wireless Bluetooth headphones. Um, so it says, be, um, enter higher planetary service, be a blazing light with Archangel Raquel, okay? And one more. Well, <laughs> Archangel Bop. Bach B, it's time to fly. Listen to your intuition, okay? And then we got Archangel Mallory at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Archangel Mary, my bad. But there is an Archangel Mallory, okay? Um, it says, open your heart with compassion and enfold others in love, okay? So I hope you guys are giving, you know, just giving out all the love, you know, spreading your good ass vibes around. Um, really not letting anybody put a damper on you on your day on the things that you're supposed to be handling with God. Like, don't let anyone knock you down, okay? Oh, let me look in the book. Let me get it together, okay? I feel like I'm always a little, like, jumbled when I first finally push record, because I'll be taking forever, y'all. I'm just saying. <laughs> okay, so it says, Archangel Ragiel, or Ragiel, the angel of justice, okay, so somebody, the archangels are getting justice for you right now, well, for a lot of people, <laughs> it says justice, the archangel of justice is a pale blue energy, okay, he, his aim is always to bring about a fair result in any situation or relationship, he works with countries, companies, families, and charities, as well as individuals, and tries to bring about meditation when the situations are stuck, okay? He enables people to find their truest integrity. Um, it says, if you feel you're being treated unjustly or life is unfair, Archangel Ragel will give you the strength and confidence you need to stand up for yourself. He sees the overall perspective over many lifetimes and helps you to understand that there are many sides to every situation. Earth is regulated by the law of cause and effect. And Archangel Regal ensures that it is implemented, okay? He is very active now. For it is time, it is, wait, for this is a time of closure before the golden age begins, okay? So the guidance is, 
um, there may be a misunderstanding or conflicts in your life or in a relationship that needs to be resolved. It may be big or small from this life or another, but it is time to look at it from every angle. Remember that other people have a different perspective, so open your heart and try to understand their views. Your guidance is to let go of your, e of your ego around this issue and seek the highest solution with integrity. You may need to take your power back or forgive yourself or others. If so, now is the time to do so. Then ask Archangel Regal to provide healing and resolution and take any opportunity that is presented to bring about harmony. Okay. Archangel Bhakti. It says it's time to fly. Listen to your intuition. Archangel, Archangel Bhakti is the angel of birds. Okay. Um, he's a seraphim who does not have specific etheric retreat over earth. His color is almost transparent and he can take on any shape he wishes. He is helping all the birds prepare for the new golden age, okay? Birds come to earth to experience and teach, for they have nothing to learn. They reflect your behavior to you, and each species has something different to draw to your attention. Um, all birds express joy by singing in all conditions and show you what true freedom is as they fly. They demonstrate that it is possible to rise above your challenges. Archangel Bhakti supervises them all, including those who sing in the messages of the angels and the Christ light during the dawn chorus. Archangel Bhakti and his angels accompany birds as they migrate, ensuring that they fly above ley lines and light them up, which is dope. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Choosing this card reminds you to look at yourself, your patterns, and your behavior. Are you squawking like a goal or are you singing with joy like a song thrush? Do you rise above life's challenges and see them with enlightened eyes like an eagle or do you focus on... Yeah, like an eagle, okay? Do you focus on your vision like a heron and act when the universe sends you a sign? Ask Archangel Bhakti to bring birds to you that will show you the qualities you need to explore. Then examine them in order to understand yourself. Remember that an essential, an essential key is, wait, an essential key to ascension is to know yourself better be open to the teaching of birds for they are angelic messengers listen to them carefully and remember you can fly with the currents of life okay which sounds great okay while i was reading that i heard wooded area okay a lot of you <laughs> live in wooded areas okay i'm hearing like you guys don't really you guys like to be secluded okay if this is for you i guess <laughs> um but this is for everyone okay you don't have to be there quite yet you, you could be you know gonna be someone who moves away and moves to a wooded area maybe that would suit you best okay so it says your 8998 was the first number it says your happiness is their happiness okay so your arc your happiness is your angel's happiness okay and they will do everything possible to ensure that you are happy this is the moment when your prayers are finally answered, okay? Or, you know, you're coming into the moment where your prayers are finally answered. I don't know why that just went off to the left. Things might be seeming like they're just flying to the left right now, okay? But really, you're getting things in order. You know, your prayers can be answered in funny ways that you really didn't realize. <laughs> Um, it would happen or, you know, prayers get answered in a way that you don't always expect, okay? So when some shit happens, okay, and it seems like it's something bad, sometimes that bad thing is a good thing to you. It's something you don't need. Okay, so it says, um, personality development and creativity. They're just not. Okay, there they go. <laughs> They just, there's a lot of stuff that needs to be I guess. So we got sitting in the power, okay? Um, this card talks about just sitting there, you know, kind of 
absorbing, you know, the light and everything. Uh, my cousin just got up. She's going to make noise. Okay, so if you hear anything, just ignore it. <laughs> um, when learning to connect with the other side, it's essential to make time to get to know your own spirit. If you randomly pulled this card, then spirit is calling you to take time now and sit in your own power. Okay, so that's what they're saying. You know, you just basically sit, get in a meditative state, you know, and really like reach out to spirit. Okay, let them work in your mind and work in your body right now okay make sure that you're nurturing yourself that you're eating the right things okay they're saying you need to eat more vegetables i eat a lot of vegetables okay <laughs> i love vegetables so um i really have a lot of them in my diet i also dance a lot okay dancing is amazing for um changing your energy you know and you know it, it just fits into your schedule so good right <laughs> Like, you can, there's never, you know, there's always a moment, I should say. I don't know why I said there's never. There's always a moment where you could dance. But I guess I said there's never because, you know, you probably, you could be someone who never dances anymore. And Spirit saying that would really help you. Also, um, impression versus expression. Impression versus expression expression okay <laughs> um there are multiple ways to receive information from spirit and it could be in words images or feelings but how we relay or express the information back to the recipient must be carried out with due consideration and the utmost care and sensitivity many mediums are taught that you should always give what you get when delivering a message in a sense that's true but as mediums we must honor that many people look at us to assist them okay with their grief and are often still distraught no matter how much time has passed since their loss always remember that while we must be open to any spiritual impression we are responsible for conveying a sensitive expression okay um so just watch look just um focus on your creative expression you know or get creative with the way that you express yourself you know a lot of people need you to like really explain to them how you feel or what you mean like so a lot of people really need you to break it down to them you know to give them more leeway they don't always understand you know and i get it it's really easy to get like fed up and irritated with people and you know want to cuss a bitch out or you know whoop some ass <laughs> i'm sorry but that's how it is okay yeah always be flexing your power of prayer there's nothing better and and make sure you're using your invisible shield okay make sure that you're you know always imagining like i always imagine this golden like bubble around me because that's what this card taught me to do okay um but whoever you are you're very psychic okay it says focus on your spirituality or a vocation that is spiritual in nature okay um you could be not feeling very fulfilled in your jobs lately because there's something else you know there's something better there's something creative that you do that you should be doing instead not that you should be doing instead you know because there's always moonlighting while you're getting that thing going but the angels are saying that that is the thing that lights you up. You're not going to be happy in any job until you follow the passion that they're trying to, you know, that they keep nudging you to follow. You know, that's what's really going to fulfill you. But that's why they said, you know, your happiness is their happiness because they'll support you either way. You're always going to be supported and protected in whatever that you do, you know. But they're saying if you want to be truly happy, you're going to have to go ahead and chase that passion. It might seem like a risk, you know, like this. This is like a huge risk. <laughs> I mean, well, it's not because I have the faith, you know, I know. <laughs> I already know where, you know, this thing is going. And I'm not really like depending on this to make any money you know I, god pays me okay my money does not come from youtube okay my money comes from god so i really do come here to just spread the messages the spirit saying whatever it is that you want to do make sure that it's something that you just love to do from the heart okay <laughs> that you're just enjoying like i was um scrolling over you know um the thumbnails on my 
on my video page, you know, where you can see all my videos. And I look so happy. Like, <laughs> I look so happy in all the pictures. Like, I'm having a good time because I really am, okay? <laughs> so, um, the next number was 9996, okay? It said, focus on your spirituality or vocation. That is spiritual in nature, okay? I just read that. Um, but it's pretty much saying the same thing as the one before, okay? It says there's much more to life than this material world can offer okay it says don't be hopeless or lose faith lose faith right happens at the right time okay um then i was thinking about the date okay because this is an added note this is like you know side note <laughs> um i was thinking about the date okay today is 1 11 23 okay so when you add up 2023 20, it equals seven okay so um i when i looked up the greek meaning of 117 it said um athian okay like you know from athens okay which is the capital of greece okay you could have greek um origins okay greek ties you definitely do um look into the greek you know gods i know they call them gods but it's because they were godlike back then all of the deities that you see that are being referred to as gods and goddesses you know i mean not only have they done the spiritual work to you know reach the status of god or goddess you know it's not to be confused with god though <laughs> nothing is to be confused with god god comes above all he is first he is the only period <laughs> okay everything else all the other deities and all the other little spirits you know they just work for god just like i do <laughs> okay <laughs> so i don't know why that clarity was necessary but somebody needs to hear that okay and um also when i when i went to my phone to look up to look up um, 117, it was 1117, and I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, no, the synchronicities, okay? <laughs> so I'm gonna read 11, I mean 117, 100, well, I'm gonna read 1117 to you, okay? Jeez, like, I don't even know what just happened to my brain, but it almost had a meltdown on you. <laughs> But no, I love to multitask. I don't understand. Okay, so 1117. Well, first of all, at the top, it kind of tells you, like, it kind of hits on the different vibrations of each number, okay? Spirit wants me to tell you that, too, okay? So it says, um, the energies of the triple one and the number seven, one brings its attributes of creativity and initiative, new beginnings, and starting afresh, self-reliance, self and tenacity, okay? Striving toward achieving success, attaining, and happiness. Attainment, okay. Whew. Number one also reminds us that we create our own realities with our beliefs, thoughts, and actions and encourages us to step out of our comfort zone. Number seven resonates with the attributes of spiritual awakening, developing, development, and enlightenment, mysticism, and psychic abilities, understanding others' inner wisdom, and manifesting your desires. Number 1117 is an auspicious number as it embodies the new with manifesting good fortune, okay? Remember to be grateful for all that the universe provides. Um, it says... Angel 1117 indicates that you are heading in the right direction in your life and this has been achieved through your positive affirmations, intuitions, and actions. You create you create our own realities. I think that's a typo again. But you get it. <laughs> and you have managed to consciously steer your life in a very positive direction. You have good reason to feel optimistic and happy with yourself as you have achieved great personal success. When you expect great things, great things happen, okay? Um, angel number 1117 suggests that you are on the right path on your life's journey. The angels support and encourage you to pursue your life purpose in earnest. Um, listen to your intuition and higher self and take the appropriate actions as only you can. <laughs> Um, serve your soul purpose and fulfill your destiny. The angels encourage you to maintain a positive attitude. Why this shit won't scroll up? A positive attitude and use positive affirmations in order to manifest your highest ideals and aspirations. 
Angel number 1117 can also suggest that it's time to begin or expand a spiritually based practice career or profession. The universe and angels will ensure that all you require will be provided for you and you are able to trust your own um, skills, abilities, and inner wisdom. Use your talents to serve humanity and bring illumination to those who seek it, okay? Um, 1117 encourages you to learn more about your personal spirituality and all that it, in, that it entails, okay? So it's like there's so much more to you. Like they said, there's so much more to life than, um, you know, the materialistic side of things. I mean, yes, it's great, you know, to know that I get paid very well by God, okay? <laughs> to spread my light, you know? It, but it's because I get paid very well. Spirit said I get paid very well because I know my worth, okay? So you need to know your worth as well. Know your worth and then you will attract it, okay? Know your worth to attract your wealth. Beige. So beige represents simplicity, comfort, wisdom, and trust. A person that loves beige is a person that is sensitive, determined, resilient, and dependable. You are a person that constantly strives for energy, strength, ideas, and knowledge, okay? Which is great. You're a great person. <laughs> um, I just heard somebody like, I know. <laughs> Because it's associated with optimism and energy. Okay, this is this is orange. I just jumped right into that. Huh? Um, orange says because it's associated with optimism and energy, many brands use orange to convey a message of positivity. If you are looking to get your audience excited about something, go for orange. It's an attention-grabbing warm color that really pops when combined with cool blue or green tones, which makes me want to pour an orange and blue painting. Okay. Um, also, <laughs> purple. So the symbolism of purple. I know, I didn't look nothing up, okay? I was like, I'm not looking up a damn thing. <laughs> but they just gave me all these notes this morning, okay? So it says purple can symbolize, well, not the colors. I got the colors and the words last night. But anyways, purple can symbolize many things. But to sum it up in a few words, purple represents strength, strength, transformation power and royalty okay so you are royalty like and you really need to become aware of that you know what i mean and it doesn't matter what society says don't let them feel like oh you know oh you must think you that's that jealous energy shit don't worry nip that right in the bud every time you run into it because you know your worth okay you know what you're worth you know what you deserve and you know what you should be expecting period and if nobody's willing to you know support that or or you know back that back you up then they're not meant to go with you they can't go where you're going <laughs> um it says green is the color most commonly associated with the united states and europe okay you might be going somewhere in the united states somewhere else in the united states or going to europe so it says um with springtime freshness and hope green is often associated Wait, green is off. Green is often used <laughs> to symbolize rebirth and renewal and immortality. Okay, forgive me. I don't know what happened. It says for many people, the color green has strong associations with nature and brings to mind lush grass, trees, and forests. Green is often described as a refreshing and tranquil color. Other common associations. With the color green are money, luck, health, and envy. Didn't I just say? That's that jealous energy, <laughs> okay? Spirit's, Spirit's saying they know you got haters, okay? They know people are jealous. <laughs> they jealous because you're the one, okay? Next was the song, um, I'm the one, yeah. No, I'm the one, I'm the only one. Don't you know, girl? Don't you know, girl? I am the one for you. Yeah, I'm the one. You're the star. You're the star of your um, area of your life of of anything that of any room that you walk into. You are the star of it. Okay, unless you walk into a room full of stars, and then we'll all just be standing in there, <laughs> shining together. You know what I'm saying? But you're not a hater. I feel like you don't put other people down. You know, 
for the most part, it's like you don't come for nobody unless they come for you. And that's how it should be, okay? Make sure you're paying attention to your music messages, okay? Um, I bought a scratcher, like I was saying, and I won, okay? So the words that I that I won with were music, lie, epic, and wicker, okay? And then after I wrote down wicker, I was like, the wicker man, okay? <laughs> so let me look up the wicker man because that's how the um ad for the movie was. It was like, the wicker man, the wicker man, the wicker man. <laughs> like a bunch of like little whispers. <laughs> they just um, were saying the wicker man over and over again, okay? So like they was trying to brainwash bitches into going to see it, but the wicker man is actually like, it's a, it's a scary movie, okay? It's a horror mystery. It says, a reclusive lawman, okay, travels to a secluded island to search for a girl who has gone missing. Once there, he discovers sinister forces at work among, among the island's secret secretive residents. Okay, so you could live in a community with lots of secretive residents, okay? Lots of shit going on, lots of connections and things that you don't really realize is happening, okay? It says, including strange sexual rituals and harvest festival. I mean, ex including strange sexual rituals, a harvest festival, and possible human sacrifice, okay? So somebody could have even tried to sacrifice you, okay? But it's like... So what? Like, they, they never could. <laughs> they never could. Like, no one ever. And also, this is why they're hating. This is why they're jealous. And this is why they really don't understand you, you know. They are traitors. <laughs> it says traitor at the bottom of the deck, okay. They're traitors. They don't have your back. I'm not, the angels, they, not, they can't lie to you. <laughs> it's like. Hold up, let me look up this blowfish symbolism. It says, um, puffer fish is symbolically associated with the ability to puff yourself up or overestimate your abilities or talents. Okay, so these are people. <laughs> Damn, spirit. Okay, so these are people who, you know, puff themselves up, you know, shapeshifters hating on you, okay? This is what the angels talk about. <laughs> They talking about these damn puffer fish out here, you know, with they chest out, uh, fucking peacocking and shit. Like they, <laughs> okay, this is making me upset. That's why I started cussing, okay? <laughs> but I feel the energy, like, you know, you have to ignore that shit because it will really upset you. Look, go into hermit mode whenever you need to, okay? Reset, recharge, you know, get connected in with the angels and let them um, drop a, a, a better energy on you, okay? Especially um, for the high priest, okay? For the high priest, for the men, okay? Um, you guys have, like, the intention of the masculine energy is crazy, okay? It's so crazy. And it's like, once you throw that feminine energy in there, you know, and once you really achieve that balance, like, you're unstoppable. There's nothing you could do, you know? And as long as you know that God pays you, you always gonna stay paid. So please stop, um, you know, feeling like because you're a man, you have to do everything and you have to provide everything and you have to take care of everyone. You know, I understand it's kind of written into your code, right into your DNA, but you got guardian angels, baby. You ain't gotta work that hard okay they protect you and everyone else you're not alone you're never alone okay ever ever never ever are you alone i mean and that goes for the women too you know you don't have to do everything you have the support that you need okay or or it's coming you know but you have to change your perspective on you know what you need you have to shed your old skin okay with the snake it says shed old skin it says ignite your passion on this one and it says oracle wait for important information okay so there's some sort of important information that's going to come to you you know some sort of epiphany is what i really heard but it says um trust okay you have to trust in god trust in your angels trust in your ancestors in order to thrive okay because i really feel like i'm thriving you know but you have to um really you know use the seer in you to see beyond your current situation you have to be able to envision that future envision that house envision that husband envision that wife you know what i'm saying that's how you manifest 
And it's like, once you manifest something, you know, you, you create that thing in your head, you know, you give it, that's how you're giving it up to God. Okay. And then when you are a vibrational match for it, when your head and your heart agree, you know, like that, okay, we're ready for this. We're healed enough for this. We've done enough work for this. That's when you will, you know, achieve that thing. Okay. But you have to be willing to unlock the magic within, like, excuse me, people accomplish amazing wonderful like crazy feats that we never thought that a person could do um you can you can live in malibu okay my shoes my shoes is where i got blowfish from okay on the inside of um this pair of sandals i just got it says blowfish and it says um malibu okay so that's how i got this okay so um then my phone case says life is short live it okay Life is short, but I mean, that's just life in this vessel. You have eternal life. Life is really not short. <laughs> it's like life is nothing, you know? You might be um, really type, kind of fearless is what I heard. You're a fearless being, okay? You're not meant to be afraid. The wheel always turns in your favor. You always win, you know? The queen of swords and the ten of swords, right? <laughs> Which, makes, which really made me feel like, you know, here's me. I stand alone with my one sword, you know, which is the truth. And then here's all these other people. And look, even in this card, okay, it's like this is what you do with your sword, right? You use it to guard you and yours, right? And then this is what other people do with their swords. They throw them at you. But this cat is not stabbed. This cat is standing in between all these swords because no one could ever take you down. They can try. It said, ain't my fault that I'm out here getting loose. That's the next note. It ain't my fault. Gotta blame it on the juice, baby. Because you're the queen of pentacles, okay? And these people are out here sneaking around and, you know, doing every underhanded thing they can to survive, you know, willing to cut other, pe other people down, you know. The Knight of Cups. The Nine of Cups is usually about an offer of love, okay? Look at this cat with the wine, like, hey, you want to come over and have a drink, okay? <laughs> um, so someone could have a crush on you, okay? Someone could be about to offer you, you know, like a date or something, and they're going to be your strength, okay? They're going to be an addition to you, and they're going to, well, I think, I really do believe that you should get over, you know, whatever situation you, you just left, if you just left the situation. But um, a lot of you are over the situation that you just left, okay? And now it's time, you know, look at the Queen of Wands with the cat and the kitten, okay? So maybe it's for, that's for a feminine person, okay? Or you could just be, you know, a guy who is, this Queen of Wands energy is amazing, okay? That's where you want to be. You want to be very fertile. You want to be very confident, you know? Um, you don't want to be like right here in the five of cups, you know, like slapping, slapping cups around, you know, and be mad because things didn't work out. It's like you had enough time to rest. Okay. Now it's time for you to look deep into somebody's eyes and don't be afraid because it will be a very successful union. Okay. That's what they're saying that whatever union you get in next, it will be angelically supported. Anything else? Oh, moving on up <laughs> to the east side to a deluxe apartment in the sky. And that's the real reason why people are in this grief and sorrow energy, you know, because they see you elevating. They see they see the big luck on you. It's right on you, okay? But that they're not to be the focus, okay? Don't focus on them. Focus on where you're going in God. It, what everybody else thinks, it don't fucking matter. Okay? It says a military. You are a fucking soldier in this shit. You been a soldier. Okay? So just go ahead and uh, walk up to the front line and take on any battle that thinks that it can take you down. Period. Look, it says the court. So maybe somebody's dealing with some legal issues. Oh, family court. Because <laughs> the living room is at the bottom of the deck. Um, maybe if you, you're having like some sort of custody battle is what I heard. You could be having a custody battle. But you have to, in any situation, okay, always expect the positive outcome, okay? Like walking around being mad and pissy and hating and talking about people behind their backs and, you know... 
uh, like none of that's helping the situation. It doesn't help. It doesn't help at all. So, you know, there's a gift coming to you, though. So just expect it. Look, it says expectation. It says a gift. It says a gift, hope, big water, and expectation, okay? I look at water as emotions, okay? So it's like there's big, let me see. This is the gift, okay? And then this is um, the hope with the big water, okay? You looking out like, what's coming, okay? They're saying expect it, okay? <laughs> be expecting of the blessings that you are deserving and they will be sent to you. Okay, so I'm gonna get some of these and then I will be done with this lovely and wonderful message. It's a wonderful message, it really is. And also I forgot a number. I just remembered it. Okay, so I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop at these. I'm gonna. I'm gonna look up that number. Okay, I need. Thank you. Okay. So we got a direct link with God. Okay. It says a new phase in life. We got 900. A chance for growth, awakening, enlightenment. It'll be easier, and your greatest happiness to see your dreams real. Like to see my own videos, you know, like to be able to go to the TV, you know what I'm saying? And just go to YouTube and just search up my own channel. Like, I really like that, you know, that was a goal of mine. This is a huge goal of mine that I have, you know, accomplished, it's done. <laughs> Even though I only have 97 subscribers, I already know that there's many more to come because, you know, um, if you build it, they will come. <laughs> that's what that's what it that's what it said okay <laughs> so 828 it says practice fair treatment this will gain you more respect with people and influence them uh with people and influence them to work on a higher vibe okay so make sure that you're treating everyone fair get out get out of here get out get out out my dog i'm sorry he waits good until i'm recording <laughs> to get all frisky and loud just like the people that live here okay <laughs> so it says um just keep pe treating people fairly okay that's how you get the respect truly that's how you that's because it's like no one can say anything about you about you being foul or about you being underhanded or none of that shit because no nah, hex no not me i treat everyone fair Everybody know, anybody that know me, they know what it is with me. If you come to me, I'm going to give you some 100% honest honest opinion. Whether you like it or not. And, I, and they know off top that I don't give a fuck how they feel about. I mean, not like, not like I don't give a fuck about their feelings. But I don't give a fuck about how you feel about what I'm saying. If, if it bothers you, you know, then you have a choice to not deal with me but I mean like on some negativity type of shit you know but I'm a very positive person you know I'm always trying to help trying to elevate someone and I feel like that's how the people that are attracted to my channel are you know so it's like we spent a lot of time being pushed over being walked on being treated like we wasn't shit okay and that time is over <laughs> it's over now and everybody needs to accept that that shit is over or need to get out of your energy period that's what they're saying so 414 says optimism confidence in yourself okay confidence in yourself is the path to success happiness and a satisfying existence nobody else can give you that no one can give you confidence in self but you okay it says um, this was how oh, I did. Okay, so this one's 959. It says you will keep learning from the new things you meet every day in your life as you proceed. That's very true too. You know, spirits taught me so much since I started doing this, you know, um, like even if you just listen, because like um, a lot of the videos that I first did, I'm sorry, they got me using myself as an example, but a lot of the videos that I first did, you know, they were really trial and error. It's not like the information isn't just as good, but really I was just learning as I went along, you know, and then eventually I got an intro, you know, and then I just, I just learned more and more, you know, I learned how to edit. I learned a lot. And not only that, the spiritual information that I learned from this is priceless. Like I can't. Ooh, I cannot up spirit enough. I could cry right now. Happy tears. <laughs> really, I could cry happy tears because they take care of me. They maintain my life and they take care of me from the inside out. 
And there's nobody else that's doing that, okay? The devil not going to take care of you from the inside out. He just not. <laughs> he not. He might not take care of you at all. <laughs> Damn. So it says faith and harmony. This is 222, okay? Which also is a number that's really associated with twin flames and soulmates a lot, okay? It says faith and harmony in the new era in your life, okay? Portal to fresh beginnings. So you've walked through a portal of fresh beginnings, whether it looks like it or not, okay? I had someone, you know, go off under one of my videos, you know, like, heck no, this is not what's happening, whoop de whoop de wop but it's like, you know, and that, they these people are lying, they're all lying, like, it's not our fault if you can't manifest. That's your fault because you have to do the work with spirit, okay? So don't go around getting mad at readers and getting mad at your family and getting mad at your friends because you're not where you think you should be okay if you're having an issue please consult your angels your guides your ancestors okay that's where you find the real answers not outside of you tearing somebody else down ain't gonna get you nowhere and with that i'm done i hope you guys have a fabulous wonderful and amazing day and i will see you later okay bye